Hey there and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Lauren and this is Jenny. We're two of Festival's Mealtime Enters and today we're sharing a festive brownie recipe that's sure to satisfy your sweet tooth this holiday season. That's right Lauren. Today we're making chocolate peppermint brownies. These are so good. Homemade brownies. Let's get started. Yes. So first step we have some dark um, bittersweet chocolate here. This is just baker's chocolate that we have cut up into smaller pieces. We're going to add about two-thirds of this to our bigger bowl here. And then we're going to add in some butter that we've kind of cut up a little bit. And then we are adding this bigger bowl to our homemade double boiler <laughs> over here. So we have some boiling water. And essentially this is just going to help melt the chocolate and the butter together. If you didn't want to go through all this, you could definitely use a microwave, put it in for 30 seconds. Take it out, stir it, and keep doing that until it's melted. All right, so while we're waiting for the chocolate and butter to melt, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the base of our brownies. So we have just a little bit of brown sugar and then some egg as well. Oop. And I'm just going to give this a good mix together until it's well combined. So wait for Jenny to mix that together. Wait for our chocolate to melt. All right, this chocolate is nice and melted. Looks so I'm gonna delicious. remove it from our heat here. Yum. Then I'm gonna grab this, put this here. If you wanna lift the bowl, I can scrape it into here. Yep. Oh, oh beautiful. Yum. So much chocolate, yes. so delicious. So we're putting it into a separate bowl because this needs to cool. Yeah, we want to let it cool before we add it into our egg and brown sugar mixture. All right, so our chocolate is cool enough to add into our egg and brown sugar mixture. We just want to make sure it's cool so that it doesn't cook the eggs. Yes. And once that's in here, I'm going to just start whisking it until it's like nice and thick and glossy. Perfect. And while you're doing that, I'm going to move on to melting the next chocolate, which this chocolate is for our chocolate swirl on top. So this is a peppermint swirl that we're making. So we have just a little bit of peppermint extract adding to our chocolate. And I'm putting this back on our homemade double boiler. And just need this chocolate to cook, melt with our yummy peppermint extract. All right, this looks nice and thick and glossy, so I'm going to go ahead and add in our flour and just a little bit of salt and mix that until it's just combined. I don't want to over mix it. And Lauren, your chocolate looks yes, good. Yes, it smells amazing. Can you smell the it smells like Christmas peppermint? in here. <laughs> it totally does. Put on a little Christmas music and fun holiday baking. Yeah. Okay, so this looks good. Again, we don't want to over mix it. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this into our uh, pan here. We just have a 9 by 13 pan that we've buttered and then lined with some parchment paper. And the butter just helps that parchment paper stick to the pan so it isn't kind of flopping all over the place. But the parchment paper is really nice because it helps you to get the brownies out of there mm -hmm. um, versus trying to scrape them out or risking them burning. Yes, it just lifts out super nicely then. I'm going to scrape every last bit of this chocolatey goodness into our pan and then smooth it out. Yes. And then with this chocolate peppermint sauce we have here, this is going to be swirled into the top, so the brownies actually don't have any peppermint in the batter. So really all that peppermint flavor is coming from the chocolate swirl that we just made and then the candy canes that we add as well. So I'm going to start to dollop it on. And as Lauren does that, I'm going to follow with my butter knife and I'm just going to swirl that chocolate in. So super simple. Yes. Never guaranteed that you wouldn't make a mess. <laughs> Part of the fun of cooking, um, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. This would be really pretty with a little bit of like white chocolate too. Oh yeah, that'd be really good. Try to get as much of this in here as possible. And then you get to argue over who gets to lick the bowl. Yeah. 
I think Lauren's gonna end up looking this one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Okay, that looks awesome. Good. Oh, it smells so good. It does. Okay, so now we're going to get this into our oven. It's going to bake at 350 for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we'll take it out. The brownies won't be done quite yet, but we'll sprinkle it with our crushed candy canes and then return to the oven and bake for another 10 to 15 minutes um, until they're done. And then you want to let them cool completely before cutting them because they are so fudgy, they'll fall apart if they're still warm, which isn't a bad thing. But when you're like presenting it for a party, you definitely want to uh, make sure they're intact. Yes, they're so. very fudgy, as you can see. Um, and we just can't actually wait to yeah. try them. All right. So good. Oh my gosh. They just mm. melt in your mouth. Perfect for any occasion. Perfect with a glass of milk, bourbon, red Coffee, wine. Breakfast brownie. <laughs> Whatever you prefer. But we've cut these up into small pieces um, simply because it's a little more inviting for guests to grab smaller pieces. But these are super decadent that you don't need a huge piece. No, definitely A little not. one satisfies your sweet tooth for sure. Yeah. We'll skip the box brownie mix this year and give this recipe a try. And to get this recipe on your phone, text brownie to 78402. And for more holiday recipe ideas, visit festfoods.com seasons.